Yay, conditionals. So conditionals are if else statements. To go back to the water anal analogy, I have my cup of water on my desk. If my cup is full, I can drink some. However, if my cup is empty, I have to fill it up. So for this example, we're gonna compare this to a game where I have my inventory, right? If my inventory is empty, I can go ahead and mine. However, if my inventory is full, I have to go and deposit my items. For starters, we're going to make a variable called uh, inv underscore empty equals false. So that basically stands for inventory empty. That is, well, actually that's true. My our inventory is empty. Now make our conditional. So we go if we do in empty then. So what that means is if inv empty, meaning if it's true, then we can go ahead and let's do some mines some rokasa and we're going to end that with an end end if so we're going to end the if statement now if you wanted to see you know let's go ahead and copy that and we'll go down one you know um what if our inventory was full so if not in empty which means if this is not true meaning our inventory is full then you know empty that stuff okay and there we go you can also go like this let's go ahead and get rid of this and if here and instead of having two separate if statements we're gonna have an else if statement so if inventory is empty then mine some rocks else if meaning like however if inventory not empty then empty that stuff you can also do let's see here you know i mean in a situation like this you could even get rid of the if and say if inventory is empty then mine some rocks else meaning in all other situations empty that stuff with something like this you, you, you can use an else statement it doesn't really matter but basically it's a one or two thing if our inventory is empty we can do stuff otherwise in all other situations empty that with the inventory analogy we have two values is our inventory full or is it empty you know it doesn't matter if it's half full we can still mine so if our inventory is not empty that means it's full so we can we can set it up so you know if it's not empty always go empty that stuff unless you wanted to empty your inventory at specific intervals then you would do like else if inventory at 50% then this and that and the other thing let's go ahead and set another variable to show you that you can use numbers we'll just how full equals 50 out of 100 right so inventory is going to be 50% full so if inventory oh well, let's do like this if how full is greater than 50 then we're going to actually uh, empty that stuff empty that sheet that's not kid friendly so and then if we're not how full full 50% so we'll just copy this actually uh, my bad I made a mistake earlier so when it says else that's this isn't a correct statement it would throw an error so else would be like this so else let's just do a mine so this is how a pro like a real if else is I messed up earlier I do apologize so if how full is greater than 50% then we're gonna empty in all other situations it doesn't matter what the condition is just do this instead so you don't need a like a condition for an else statement for this specifically an else if yes but just an else no so you can do that you know there's other operators you know greater than or equal to less than or equal to exactly equal to you know if how full is not 50 and then if it's anything other than 50 you guys get the point i'm going to include the documentation to this in the description if you have any more questions check the documentation out or ask me for help now for a fun little project to combine everything we've done so far let's use an if statement with tooltips so we're gonna make a, uh, a new variable called value we're gonna set this to true now we're gonna make an if statement if value equals actually we'll just do if value then which means if value is true then we're gonna do a tooltip we're gonna set it to hey girl and I got that from not adventure time and then we're gonna do uh, else and then we're gonna copy this tooltip because I'm freaking lazy and that's really the thing about coding is you're just gonna copy and paste a lot of stuff and we're gonna do like uh hey boy there you go enter and we're gonna do and if bam now let's leave that there and do it let's see oh i did sleep and we're gonna pause the script for like uh one and a half seconds in case you're wondering when i do this i'm holding shift and then i press the home button on my keyboard to easily copy now you can see hey girl we're gonna set this to false hey boy so you can see there's our conditional